the United States Navy has what I would euphemistically call an image problem. I mean, look at this. This is the image that civilians have of the Navy and their personnel. Navy personnel, or sailors, make the same commitment that all the other branches do, yet what's the image? We're a bunch of showgirls. We dance around in these outfits that make us look like we belong on a Cracker Jack box, or perhaps in a Japanese all-girls school. What could possibly go wrong? What, what, how, yeah. Come on. And then there's this stereotype. The Marine Corps sure as hell doesn't have this kind of a problem. Let's look at the Marine Corps' choir for a moment. Look at these guys. Stony-faced. These are the faces of warriors. They sing proudly like the Spartans of old. Nothing tarnishes this image. I mean, look at those uniforms. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't feel quite so bad anymore. The Navy has Channing Tatum, but the Marine Corps has Pee Wee Herman. Look at this. Welcome to Reagan's 80s. Why don't you pick old Pee Wee up and hoist him into the air, boys? Yeah, there you go. Semper Fi, motherfuckers. Let's find out what today's secret word is. Today's secret word is cavitation. When someone says cavitation, do not scream real loud. Okay, all kidding aside, cavitation, what is it? It's one of the central preoccupations of submarine captains, officers of the deck, and sonarmen. It is essential to the art of stealth that a submarine avoid cavitation as much as possible. The goal of avoiding cavitation influences all of the maneuvering and acceleration choices a submarine's crew makes, as well as the very design of the submarine itself. But what is cavitation? Don't know? Don't feel bad. Lots of people don't know what cavitation is. That includes the people who write STD. Excess energy cavitation initiated. STD, for those who are unaware, doesn't actually stand for Star Trek Discovery. It stands for Soul Train Dancers, because I'm convinced that's who actually writes the show. What? Yeah, hi, okay, yeah, hi, oh, okay, what? Cavitation is the production of bubbles of steam that form on the surface of a submarine's propeller. These bubbles occur because the seawater on the surface of the propeller blades is boiling. Now, this isn't like the kind of boiling that happens on your stove. That example of boiling happens thanks to heat being applied. The boiling that occurs during cavitation happens because the speed at which the propeller is moving is causing an area of low pressure, and under low, lower pressures, water will boil at lower temperatures. Why are these bubbles a problem? Because they eventually pop. When they pop, they give off a small noise. One bubble popping isn't too bad, but hundreds of such bubbles popping can cause a significant and detectable level of noise that can give away a submarine's position, particularly to another submarine in the area. In order to minimize cavitation, the propellers of submarines are specially designed to allow for more thrust per revolution. Submarines also don't accelerate too quickly when they are rigged for quiet. Now, from banquet comes... <laughs> what is it, Cynthia? What is it? Giblet gravy and sliced turkey! Yes, 
giblet gravy, and sliced turkey, together in the most significant frozen dish of our time, Buffet Supper. Winner of three Banquet Academy Awards, Best Sliced Turkey. Best performance by a giblet gravy in a supporting role. Best performance by a housewife. I just put it in the oven, and by and by it was done. And I had a delicious buffet supper. Oh, yes, I did. Slices of turkey, all covered with gravy and little bitty giblets. Do you From the same producers who brought you Beef Stew, Salisbury Steak with Gravy. And the unforgettable chicken and dumplings comes the outstanding banquet production of the 20th century, giblet gravy and sliced turkey. Color by Paprika, now appearing citywide in a frozen food section near you. On STD, we hear the word cavitation being used during the preparation procedures for the discovery using her magic mushroom bullshit teleportation drive. There is nothing about this that involves stealth, and it apparently relates to the rings in the ship's saucer section rotating during the jump. This tells me that the Soul Train dancers used the word cavitation because they heard it in submarine movies but didn't actually know what the word meant and just threw it in there for color. Most people would agree that space is supposed to be a vacuum, and as such there wouldn't be an example of a low pressure area forming where the ships operate, and likewise the formation of bubbles wouldn't occur either. The only way for the use of the term cavitation to make sense in the context of the show is if the word cavitation has a different meaning in the world of the show than it does in the real world. Since the show doesn't bother to tell us that this is the case, instead choosing to reiterate ad infinitum, ad nauseum, how awesome Michael Burnham is, we are left with yet another inconsistency in the show. If you'd like to support this channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to help me make more videos, please consider purchasing a copy of my book, Captain Steel and Other Stories, on Amazon. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.